do you think humans will survive a mass extinction or will we go on like this forever so will humanity is humanity in a position to survive a mass extinction or will humanity last forever well you know what nothing lasts forever we have had many species of human beings in the past that have disappeared we are a relatively new species of human being we have been around for a quarter million years in the anatomically modern form homo sapiens now are we in a position that we can survive a mass extinction so what's a mass extinction it's a catastrophic event of some kind in which a majority of the living beings and species on the planet go extinct so that could be something like an asteroid strike or a comet strike or like what happened about 65 million years ago in the uh, chicxulub impact event which uh, what was what killed of the majority of the dinosaurs some dinosaurs did survive and our ancestors who were very small at the time they also did survive that so they did survive the mass extinction that dis- that killed off the majority of the known avian dinosaurs right so that is one mass extinction our ancestors survived now are we in a position to survive another such mass extinction what if a comet were to impact the planet i don't see humanity surviving that we can try and uh, nudge the comet out of its orbit that it that will coincide with the earth's orbit that we can do if we can see it coming with sufficient time in hand we can we may be able to deflect an asteroid and nudge it out of the way if it is coming towards earth but if it is too late and if it it if it does impact the earth then there's no way humanity can survive we will go the way of the dinosaurs now there are other ways of having a mass extinction for example right now we are destroying the oceans we are polluting the oceans we are choking the oceans with plastic and we are dumping all kinds of chemicals and other things into the ocean in the past there have been a uh, mass extinction events that so uh anoxic conditions in the oceans so the oceans have this uh, these organisms called phytoplankton these are unicellular or mi- multicellular microorganisms that have chlorophyll that undergo photosynthesis and at least half of the entire planet's oxygen is produced by these phytoplankton organisms that live in the world's oceans now if we were to engineer because of our stupidity an anoxic event in the oceans which means that the oceans go they get starved of oxygen then all of this phyto phytoplankton will die out and many other species will die out and if the oceans die out we will lose our one of the we will you we will lose the major source of oxygen on the planet and that could trigger off a catastrophic chain of events that could wipe out the majority of the species at least the terrestrial species on the planet including humanity because it it, it would kill out many of the smaller animals and and plants and that would lead to the starvation eventually of of humanity so there are many mechanisms by which a mass extinction event can take place and i am afraid that we are not currently in a position that we can survive such a thing we don't have another planet that we can go to because none of the planets in our solar system have anything like the conditions we would need to survive there and we don't have the means to send a significant percentage of humanity to any of the planets whether it's the moon whether it's mars whether it's venus right so this is the only home we have the earth as of today and if something were to go wrong here i don't see humanity surviving that so unfortunately we are currently not in a position to survive a mass extinction event if that were to happen we are in a position to ensure a mass extinction event does not happen so we need to get our act together we need to ensure that we stop polluting and destroying the oceans we need to ensure we stop de deforesting the terrestrial regions of our planet we need to stop polluting the atmosphere if we can do that if we can stop all this uh, animal agriculture if we can stop people eating beef then a great deal of, we can change a great deal in the world and maybe ensure that our future generations will have a better world to live on and we will ensure that a mass extinction won't happen 
but it needs to start happening now or very soon but otherwise we may not be able to survive a mass extinction event